Over the past couple of decades, there has been many advancements in drug discovery, diagnostics, and just care for many populations. However, there are populations that currently have no access to healthcare. For this reason, we need our scientists to continue the understanding of these diseases with faster diagnosis, better treatments, and ultimately better outcomes in mind. The only way that better and effective drugs can be released and used is by continuing to invest in the biotechnology area. And our solutions give our biotechnology customers a deep understanding of the results that they review on a day-to-day -day basis. Lycor was started in 1971 by Bill Biggs. He started the business from his work at the University of Nebraska studying light for photosynthesis. They started with the environmental division. However, in the late 1980s, early 1990s, he decided he wanted to join into this biotechnology area. So it was at that point that they made the decision to utilize technology from the environmental sciences and created the basis of the Lycor Biotechnology Business Unit. In the early 2000s, we launched our Odyssey near-infrared imager, which has allowed that core near-infrared technology to move into proteomics and really help shape the way that people are doing Western blotting, plate-based assays, gels and tissues in near-infrared. Lycor's work has helped improve the human condition by coming alongside the researcher with tools, services, reagents, and support to meet them where they're at in their research needs. And all of these things put together from the beginning to the end of their workflow help them improve uh, what they bring to market and ultimately how they impact people. Even though Lycor is a mid-sized company, we have remained true to our core foundation of near-infrared technology and built upon that with an integrated solution of tools, reagents, services, and support. And that in combination with our core technology really helps us stay on track with bringing solutions to the market. The Odyssey Classic was our first multi-purpose infrared imaging system. It had two channels, both in the infrared and it allowed our customers to obtain images with greater sensitivity, lower background, and higher dynamic range than ever before. So infrared fluorescence imaging is a technique that uses light in the near-infrared region that excites these near-infrared fluorophores. They then emit light at a longer wavelength. We use this to detect specific things in biology, okay? We may label a tumor, we may label specific proteins. The reason why we do this in the near-infrared region is because with the visible region, there's autofluorescence, there's scattering. All of these are much, much reduced in the near-infrared region. The InCell Western assay is something that Lycor has worked together with scientists and researchers in order to improve accessibility to data. It's something that allows our researchers to take a piece of data that they would have had to do a single acquisition at a time and really look at multiple targets at once and how it is happening in the cell. And that really just increases the efficiency and helps provide a richer data set, which is going to help provide better conclusions to their research. The Odyssey M is Lycor's most recent advancement in our core technology, and it is a multimodal imager with up to 18 channels. So our researchers have the opportunity to look at the full spectrum of light when they're analyzing their samples and several targets at once. Because of this, they can look at several different types of applications with a single instrument. So if they're looking at gels, plates, membranes, or slides, they can do it all with a single integrated solution that allows them to look at all of their data in a robust and reproducible way. Lycor comes alongside the research community, especially undergraduate research institutions, by providing grants that allows them to get our technology into the hands of the next generation of scientists and really train them to understand the applications that our instruments can perform and, and do it in a way that is not cost prohibitive to the institution. Also, the biotechnology industry is a fast-paced environment. One of the ways that we support that industry is by partnering with the largest incubator organizations, getting our equipment, our reagents, and our solutions in order to really get those tools into their hands, help advance their research, and hopefully help them graduate and get that into industry. 
The Lycor biotechnology business finds it very important to be involved with our community. And many aspects of what we do are very community-based. We have multiple programs that we help annually. Uh, we also think it's very important for our employees to that they themselves volunteer. We do allow our employees paid time off to volunteer as they wish for their various causes that, uh, that they're very supportive of. Human beings are extremely complex. And what we believe is that as we understand the human body more, precision medicine is going to become more and more available to the broader population. And Lycor believes that our technology is really gonna broaden the impact of a more personalized medicine approach. In the future, innovation at Lycor will have to be much more agile. Uh, the needs of the biotech community is changing at a rapid pace. We need to keep up with that. We need to continue to provide new tools and solutions. We all know somebody who has been impacted by cancer. We all know somebody that has a generative disease. And knowing that our researchers are, are looking for answers every single day is a really impactful and profound um, sense of purpose that, that drives me every day.